my dude I know everyone seems more advanced than you But that ain't your business You stay faithful, lift your head and move Turn up, turn up uh. Hey, what's up people? It's FIFA 11 Skills Man here, or Leachman, and I'm back with another commentary. So I just got another question about how and where do you spend money in the game. So basically, set your destination, go to the tower, and launch. So you already did, like I said in the last video, dismantling equipment gives you glimmer, or it can give you, if it's a special gear, it can give you other stuff too, so you can level up your special gear. So yeah. And we're gonna launch into space Cause we are special like that -na -na, -na 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 -na. Alright, so now you're in the tower And let's say you wanna buy a new gun So you run over here And you talk to the gunsmith And you select that Select that and you can buy guns. Now to me all these guns are useless because I already have them. But I do need these things. And that's so that if I run out of ammo when I'm in a battle or whatever, I can use it. Ah oh, man, I just wasted all my money. But anyway, so you go there if you wanna get a gun, that's where you go. There are and if there's something specific that you want. There's a guy you can talk to and they're all over the entirety of the map. I don't know why I'm going all the way over there. So when you land uh, in the tower, you can talk to this thing so that you can view the map. And this is the map of the tower. It will load. Yeah, map of the tower and you can see what exactly you want to do. It shows you where you are. Crypt the Cryptarch is whenever you pick up something that says encrypted item. You go to him so that he uncrypts it for you. Vault, you can put your stuff there. Special order, mail, other stuff. Outfitters, I'll talk about that in another video. Uh, shipwright to get new weapons. And also around this area is where you have the Vanguard. And what else we got? Yep, that's about all I have for this video. If you have any other questions, let me know. Actually, I think there's something more I want to show y'all. Bounties. Yeah, you can also get bounties. So you come over here and you talk to this board. And you can get bounties. And the bounties are has a stock effect time. And you select the bounties you want to do so you can get more money. It's just like things you can go for. Like in Call of Duty, you had all those little like side missions you could do. And it's basically the same thing. But anyway, that's all for that, and yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I should show you or talk about in this video. But yeah, that's it. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and God bless. Let's record this. Alright, so I touched a little bit on this, but I didn't really talk about it much. And I just wanted to touch on how to uh, create, uh, or rather, how to use your materials. I got a question from Freak about it today. And I touched about it in the video, but I didn't really go in depth into it. So I just wanted to touch on it again now. So, alright, so you guys start. And whenever you, uh, like I showed in the other video, whenever you dismantle a product, or I said product, a gear or something, you get like, you get Hadronic Essence or the rest of these I think I picked up. But yeah, you get Hadronic Essence for, mainly for, uh, for your uncommon weapons. I don't know. Yeah, you get the same thing for the rare weapons, but in the case of the rare weapons, you get more Hadronic gear. I think when you dismantle a uh, common or rather uncommon, you get like two or one, and then for rare you get two, so you get more. And then so for when after you get that, when you have that and you want to level up, like in my case, for example, this chest armor, if I wanted to level it up, I would need ten hydronic essence and two hundred and fifty glimmer, and I have ten hydronic essence. So when I level, when I finish getting that bar all the way up I'll be able to use it and the other thing 
which I think I didn't even mention just at all in this video, is before you can use hydronic gear or anything like that, you have to at least have this little whatever circle leveled all the way up. And once it's the completed circle, you can select it and use your hydronic essence and then level your gear up. And the way it works in Destiny, when you're trying to unlock more and more stuff for your gear, it's like a chain link. It's not, you can't skip, like for example, go from here and just go to that one. You can't do that. You have to go from here to this one and then to this one. It's step by step by step. You can't skip over one to select another thing. I found that out because I think on this gear, I wanted to select this one because I had enough to select it and I couldn't because I didn't have enough to select this one. So that's how it works. You just have to select, you have to go step by step by step. It's all it's like a chain link. You can't skip over one. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, I got my character all the way to level 19. I'm almost at level 20. I think I'll get level 20 by the end of, you know, a few 30 minutes at top and I'll be at level 20. And yeah, so I'm already getting a lot of uh, blue items, which is uncommon items. And yep, I'll talk to y'all later. God